cat's oral and dental health is crucial. However, many pet owners do not pay enough attention to this matter. They rush to veterinarians when their cat vomits once or shows a small redness on their skin. Yet, months of persistent bad breath are considered normal for them. However, this bad breath could be a sign of a serious disease affecting the cat's teeth and gums. This disease significantly impacts the cat's entire life, reduces its quality of life, and can trigger various other illnesses. Sometimes, it is a condition that can be overlooked even by veterinarians, or it is attempted to be treated with simple methods but can have severe consequences in the later stages. The name of this disease is FRL, which stands for Feline Odontoclastic Resorptive Lesion. You might not understand much yet, but I will explain what this disease is shortly. This channel is an information platform and a new channel. The continuation of such videos depends on the support you give to my channel. First of all, do not think that this disease will come and find my cat. Studies have shown that this disease occurs in 20% of cats in various degrees. In fact, lesions related to this disease have been found in the teeth of a cat dating back 800 years. It is especially more common in Siamese and Persian cats compared to other breeds. Now, let's get to this disease. Firstly, do not ask about the cause of this disease because it is unknown. In medical literature, such diseases are called idiopathic diseases. This disease is not caused by a bacterial or viral infection. As you know, teeth attach to the upper and lower jaw bones through their roots. There is a type of multinucleated cell in these bones, odontoclasts. These odontoclasts attack the roots of the cat's teeth, destroying them. In other words, they resorb the tooth roots, and the disease gets its name from here. As a result, bleeding and a bad breath develop in the teeth. Over time, the pain in the teeth and gums increases, and this pain spreads to surrounding tissues, especially in the neck area, in the later stages. The cat starts to be unable to eat dry food, and naturally, the cat's overall condition deteriorates. Therefore, if your cat has even a slightly disturbing bad breath, you should consult your veterinarian without wasting any time. There is only one diagnostic method for this disease, x-rays of the teeth and jawbones. This is a normal dental x-ray of a healthy cat, and this is a dental x-ray of a cat with F4L. You are seeing that odontoclasts have almost completely destroyed the tooth root, right? Diagnosis is this easy. Once the diagnosis is made, your veterinarian will determine your treatment protocol and what you need to do. Remember, conditions like bad breath and redness in the gums may not be the result of a simple infection. All cats with oral and dental problems must have dental x-rays taken. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for the continuation of my videos.